Is it... I'm not... I can't tell if it's... Low... No, it can't... This is... Car... God, this is stupid. Okay. This is Garvey Wright. And I guess I'm talking to my future self. <laughs> it's a silly idea, I know. I sort of want to keep this as a time capsule, I suppose. Something I can look back on. It's a weird idea, but maybe it'll help. Give some good use to this recorder Alex gave me. Everyone gave me things. I suppose it was my birthday. I'm not sure if they got that off the papers or not, but I'm not sure how they knew. It doesn't seem to matter. I appreciate it. Alex got me this recorder. Peter got me some pocket change, I guess, to buy what I want, which is new. And John got me this toy. I don't think he 100% knows what older people like me are into. Guys, this seems more like something he would have wanted to get for himself, but he's a nice kid and it's a nice gift. I want to help these people out. They went through all the effort of bringing me in. It would only make sense that I help lighten the load around the house. So I'm thinking of entering the family business. <laughs> Wish me luck. How do... Hey there, again. My... Me, I guess. Ah, this is weird. Can we both just acknowledge this is a weird thing that's happening? Well, good news, I got the job. It, you know that. Of course, you know that, because it's already happened to you, but... Look, I got the job. The only position that they had available was janitor, which... I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed by initially. I would have given anything to be able to perform up on that stage, giving kids the show of a lifetime, but the work isn't that hard. All I gotta do is just clean up the occasional mess around the place. It's really simple, actually. Well, mostly simple. I still have to deal with the occasional rowdy youth, I guess. I'm sure that they're fine when they're at home or hanging out with their friends, but I notice that whenever they're here, I don't know, they just kind of get rowdy. It's not my business to say, obviously, but they should probably be a little bit more respectful of their surroundings. I hope I don't have to clean up nearly as much as I did for my first day for the next while. And some of them were picking on each other. It wasn't nice to watch. I had to go away for a bit. Sort of walk into a closet to compose myself. Peter helped me. He helped me get back there and, I guess, get back to reality. It's a weird way to describe it, but I, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. I hope that their parents know what they're doing and do something about that behavior. Because we shouldn't be accepting that in an establishment like this. I guess it's just not my place to say it again. But 
anyways, I... P P Peter? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting back soon. I'm on... Yeah, I'm on my break. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Hey again, it's, uh, it's been a while. I haven't turned on this thing in a really long time. I wasn't sure how... I wonder how things are going over there, I guess. I mean, obviously I can't know necessarily how things are going, but I, I can hope that... Look, it's stupid, all right. Let me just get to what's been going on. My... Pay has been increasing by quite a bit, actually. Uh, apparently, being a janitor has its quirks. I've managed to make quite a bit of pocket change for myself. Hopefully, that'll help with the increasing issues that have been going on financially. Especially with John's birthday coming around soon. We're going to have to spend it in the establishment this time, which... I know he's not the biggest fan of it. I imagine that he's not too happy that he has to spend most of his time after school there since all of his family works at the establishment, and I can tell that he doesn't like the animatronics. I mean, I don't necessarily like them either, but they do give off some feeling. I'm not totally certain. Hopefully this new rabbit that I'm helping fix up will lighten that up, I guess. Hopefully. But it won't help because he's been having a hard time again. Which is a shame because... I mean, I already taught someone how to behave around here. One of the kids that was being mean to him, I tried to tell him how not to act, but he still insists on hurting him. I'm... I'm not... I'm not sure what to think right now. But... I just want to make this birthday good for John. Better than it was for me, at least. I can see a lot of myself in him, you know. I hope whenever you're listening to this again that John's doing better. But I guess his birthday's coming up and... Hopefully things will turn around from there. <sighs> it was... How were they supposed to know? I, I couldn't have known that they would... It was supposed to be his day. It, it's all wrong. <laughs> Fucking bear. We should have. We should have known it could. Wasn't safe. <laughs> John, please, John, please, John, Just, please be okay. I can't, I can't, I don't, this can't be how it always happens, this needs to be different, John has to stay alive.
they're gone. All five of them. In that back room. They're going to stay there. Until they learn that they aren't meant to do what they did. They're lucky that John's alive. They are lucky. That doesn't mean they're above being taught a lesson. don't know. They shouldn't know. They're never going to know. They'll just be faces on posters until the end of time. It's about all they deserve. There was another one today. A younger girl, probably around 14, 15. She was causing even more problems around the establishment. I'm assuming she just thought she was too good for this place. This place. But she wanted to cause problems. She wanted to hurt someone. So I hurt her. She's inside of one of the suits now. I may have dislocated some of her arm while I was pushing her inside. But it's done now. She's not with the others. The others didn't get the luxury of something like that. But there was a problem. Fritz is onto something. He believes in the idea of this company. The idea that these kids should have a safe place to be. We both believe in that idea, but we aren't going to buy it the same way. And I don't think he would approve of what I've been up to. I gave him an excuse when I left the back room. I could tell for now that satisfied him, but I need to start thinking about alternatives. It shouldn't have to come down to that. And I hope it doesn't come down to that. I hope he just understands that what's happening is just for the better. But if he doesn't, need to start thinking about that. Peter doesn't get it. Peter doesn't get it. Peter's never understood. Peter's just wrong. He wants to keep this company running despite everything. Does he know what happened to John? Does he know what happened to everyone? This place, this company, all that it brings is is pain and misery. But he doesn't get that. All he wants to do is keep the place running. And I don't even know what for. For money? For brand appeal? If he wants to be giving children an experience, wants to give them happiness, then the only way to give them happiness is to keep this place gone. Because he knows what this place is capable of. He's seen what's happened. He knows what's happened. He knows what's going. Going to happen. There's a birthday today. There's going to be another incident. Someone is going to get hurt at another fast bear location. Peter can't ignore it for much longer. He can't. (sighs) 
I knew it. Peter is too prideful. He's been looking into things. He and Fritz. But Fritz won't be a problem anymore. He's in the cake bear now. That original suit. The first one. I don't want to hurt family. I shouldn't have to hurt family. It shouldn't have to be this way. But Peter has continually ignored all of these warnings, all of these messages telling him to stop, telling him to let this company, let these characters, let all of these lost little souls rest. But he won't. He's going to continue letting this beacon of hate fester. And if he's not going to stop, then I'm not going to stop either. I want this place gone. Buried. Burned. And if that means hurting them, maybe it's for the best. They found them. All of them. All the bodies. The place is shutting down. After everything. This should feel good. But Peter's gone. I hurt my family. He wouldn't listen to me. There was nothing I could have done, but I could have done something. I could have done anything. And I did. I did do something. Things were supposed to be different. This family was supposed to be something new. They took me in. They took me in. I was... I was supposed to protect them. I've seen the way they look at me. They know what I've done. I need to do something. I need to do it now. John. I know you're listening. So listen well. You know what I did. What I've done. The people that I've hurt. I thought I knew why I did it. I thought I was doing it for a good reason. And part of me still believes in that reason. But I also know that I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every moment that I made those little things squeal. I wrung each and every one of them out with my bare hands. Even Peter. Someone from my family. Someone I was supposed to protect.
and that I can't, I can't justify that. So if all I can do is destroy, I'm going to do that. I'm going to destroy them one last time. By the time you're listening to this, I'm going to be at the old Fredbear's location. I'm going to set them free. The first ones. It won't fix anything. But maybe they'll finally, finally be free from all this. And I don't expect to be coming back. But if I do, John, if I do come back, you need to find me. You need to find me, and you need to stop me, because I won't be me anymore. I'm going to be everything I denied I was. Everything I think I really am. Find it and put an end to it. It's the only way, John. It's the only way.